How's it going, you guys? Alec and Stuff here, and today's the day! The first Nintendo Direct in approximately six months, so it's been quite a while since we've had a Nintendo Direct of any sort, or any capacity of Nintendo announcements, really. Um, today's Nintendo Direct is all about the 3DS. They have confirmed and put out a statement beforehand stating that there's going to be no news about the Nintendo NX during this Direct at all. But, um, I'm still excited nonetheless. It's been quite a while since we've had a Nintendo Direct, and I'm hoping there's going to be a few surprises in here that we don't know about yet. And I'm hoping there's going to be more Sun and Moon stuff, of course. So, um, yeah, it's going to be starting soon, so I will see you all in a couple minutes. Oh, it's starting. Tom, okay. How are you doing? <laughs> Everything smooth? Yeah, everything's great. We're ready for the Nintendo Direct, except we don't have Phil. What do you mean we don't have Phil? Where's Phil? Oh, where, of course. Wait, of course, Bill is running late. Nintendo it's always Bill. You better fix this. You guys, you're gonna help me with the 2016 announcements. John, you're gonna go find. I love these little intro videos at the beginning of every single one of these. These are fantastic. But what about the 2017 announcements? Find Bill and find my new Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> I love these so much. He seems like Reggie seems like a really really nice guy to work with. It's been a while since Who are you? No. <laughs> okay, so Pokémon Sun and Moon. The story begins when your character We going to get some new news? News? New news? New news about the moon and sun? <laughs> All right. So this is stuff we're already very well aware of. Dude, when these got announced, that was honestly really, really hype. Because what? Whoa, 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 whoa! What is this? Alolan Rattata. These, okay, the Alolan forms are cool. Um, I love the backgrounds they're getting. Like, because that they had, because they had to avoid their natural predator, um, that's why they changed forms. Um, a lot of the Alolan forms are like that, where because this happened, this drove the species to do this, and now they look like this. It's a really nice explanation, and, um, I don't know. I appreciate the effort of going in and adding in that sort of a little bit of lore to it. I love that animation, by the way, well, that... There's so much stuff flying at me right now, it's hard for me to speak. Nice. Pulverizing pancake. Evolve your Munchlax into Snorlax, then assign the Snorlium Z crystal to get the special Z move, Pulverizing Pancake. Snorlium Z. <laughs> that, is, that is actually a pretty funny name. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon will launch side by side on November 18th. Very nice. Very nice. Moving along, see what you can make of this. What can I make of this? Mario Maker for the 3DS! Wow. Wow. This new game is all about playing courses anytime, anywhere. And it gives you a hundred built-in courses Yo. to play right out of the box. These levels have metal challenges, from collecting every coin to defeating every enemy before reaching the goal. I wonder how many medals you can collect. You can also go online to play courses. Wow, well, I don't honestly think anybody expected this. Does this mean that all the courses made on Wii U will be able to be played here? We're confident there'll be no shortage of great content for you to play. You'll also be able to get courses directly from your local friends, but we'll get to that in a bit. Okay, so she said not, not every course will be able to be played on the 3DS. I'm assuming that has something to do with the amount of things displayed on screen. 
save for the mystery mushroom and his associated Mario costumes, which are exclusive to the Wii U release. But don't worry if you find course creation a bit intimidating. Mario and Yamamura are back with interactive tutorials that'll have you creating with confidence in no time. I love her name, Mario. Super Mario Maker on Wii U was all about fostering a big global community. This time we're focused on bringing players together with their local friends to build communities. Wow, friends. this is honestly really cool. Courses, online. courses you make will be shareable via local wireless and street pass. Street pass is a really important thing to have on this kind of game. That way you can team up to create courses, which will be marked with a special icon to commemorate your collaboration. That's even cooler. I don't I don't believe that that's something that we have currently on the Wii U, but Next up, we will see. I, I, I don't know. This game has a so. new mode called Toad Scramble, which puts a big spotlight on little old Toad while introducing a new way to play Okay, Mario the Mario Party games. You love them or hate them at this point. They've driven they've driven so far off from the original concept of Mario Party that a lot of people are kind of turned off to it at this point. Um, this is a step in the right direction. Although, I don't believe that this is going to really bring back the fans of the original games, because this is still not exactly what we're looking for. <laughs> I believe it was Mario Party 9 where they kind of went off from the, um, you know, you roll the dice, you move your spots, um, land on a certain spot this happens, or blah blah blah, and they introduced that, like, all-in-one cart thing. This is not exactly that, but it's also not original Mario Party format, so I don't know. You'll maneuver three pieces to reach the opponent's side of the board. There are lots of ways to party with Mario. I mean, Seven if anything great comes out of this, is that we finally have a Waluigi amiibo. <laughs> so, there he is! Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> I really want that Boo amiibo because it glows in the dark. And because Boo is awesome. Of course, of course. Including up to four player download play as well as local multiplayer. Of course, it'd be strange if they didn't include download play. If you download the free Mario Party Star Rush Party Guest Edition from Nintendo eShop, you can enjoy four player multiplayer using only one full version of the game without limitations. Mario Party Star Rush, a new amiibo from cool. the Super Mario series. I wonder if that demo is available now or something. On November 4th. November 4th. Okay, so that's pretty close to Sun and Moon. Believe it or not, <laughs> but next up is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Yes. Is this the Splatoon stuff? I hope so. It will expand your town's horizons by adding an amiibo functionality and other new features. Let's go. Show me what you got. Of course, the Animal Crossing series amiibo. I'm assuming this is all like with the cards and yeah, she she just said cards and figures. Now this is gonna be the Splatoon stuff. I hope. Ooh, what are these? Each one features a villager we haven't seen yet in Animal Crossing New Leaf, as oh. well as the interior design of that villager's mobile home. Wow. And they can live in your town! You can update your current version of the game, Animal Crossing New Leaf, including the recently wow. launched Nintendo Selects version, or you can purchase a package that includes this update called Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. With this version, you'll also be gifted a... That is cool. I love those new cards. Pretty soon, we'll be going to town on all of the features included in this update, especially the amiibo compatibility. So stay tuned for an Animal Crossing Mini Direct coming later this fall. So Mini Direct coming later this fall. <laughs> Return to the build debacle. Hey, is this Reggie's Nintendo 3DS? Who's gonna be looking for this? Donuts. This is the return of the donuts from the Yokai Watch little short from earlier this year. <laughs> Street Pass Me Plaza is marching into new territory. A new update should make your gameplay experience quicker and smoother. In addition to the I'm one of the only Street people out of my whole entire friend circle Street that Street still Street plays Street Plaza, Street Plaza, so I love these little updates. The, quick Plaza, the gameplay will move along quicker. Reading messages from me characters have been simplified, and you can select the game more quickly from the bottom screen and boot it up right See, away. See, I appreciate this, because when you go to big also, events like E3 and the South by Southwest Gaming Expo, it becomes a bit of a chore having to sit down and 
like go 10 at a time oh here we go what's this by sending me characters you've met via street pass to the plaza gate you can encounter up to 100 players nice okay that's that's a very worthwhile update it's very very important for me because i get street passes all at once or not at all best time against players you encounter through street pass in slot car rivals okay so new street pass games as advised by the me's you've met in market crashers You'll cook what? requested dishes for heroes Street. to rescue the king in Feed Me. You'll explore Competitive eating! Yes! That's what I want to do with people I street pass with. And you'll also blast yourself from a cannon to defeat demons in Ninja Launcher. Even for Street Pass, these games are bite-sized and deliciously so. Perhaps best of all, you can download either Slot Car Rivals or Market Crashers for free. Nice, okay. If you take advantage of the free download, you can purchase the four other new games in a special discounted bundle. Well, then why wouldn't you download those? Updates for Street Pass Mi Plaza and Street Pass today? Mi Plaza Come on, Premium today? Launch shortly after the wreck. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to be playing some of those Stay after this. Troops. This here is a new game in development for a Nintendo 3DS. This kind of looks like Valkyria Chronicles in a way. If you've ever played those. Behind the wheel of a tank with specialized abilities. A key aspect of this game is the titular troopers. Depending on the type of troopers. You know, this art style kind of reminds me of Runbo, that indie game that they've been promoting a lot of. Look like normal tanks, but these babies can strike surrounding enemies with a freeze attack, launch paintballs to block the opponent's views, and use electrical shocks. Where's NX? They stand. This is uh, definitely not your average tank warfare. In addition to single player and a local six player multiplayer mode, the game offers download play as well. That way, you know, the six players um, can make war together. I don't know what really to make of this. There are other game modes too. The Nintendo 3DS Tank Troopers. Tank Troopers will be unleashed on Nintendo eShop later this winter. This winter, okay. Puzzle Gaming is about to get a fresh new coat of paint in the eShop exclusive Picross 3D Round 2. This time, blocks can be I didn't play the original first Picross uh, 3D. Shapes. I have been debating getting that Zelda one, though. I don't know if it's still on my Nintendo, though. Puzzles at the cafe. And even tap compatible amiibo figures to uncover secret Nintendo characters. Well, you know, that's actually kind of appreciated. I'm implementing some sort of amiibo functionality into these kind of games. Making it more worthwhile to buy these figures. you can purchase the whole game. Picross 3D Round 2 is available today in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. Okay. At Nintendo, cool stuff. we're committed to working with awesome independent developers. Oh boy. This September, we'll be releasing a new Wii U or Nintendo 3DS title each week in Nintendo eShop at a reduced so, price for a limited time. Axiom Verge comes out today? today with Axiom Verge. Yes. So check it out on Nintendo eShop and come back every I think that's like the Metroidvania indie game games, that they've been talking about. Our latest developer spotlight videos. We're also kicking off the month with a contest on Twitter. Ooh, Twitter weeks, contest. Enter for a chance to win all <laughs> five games and an opportunity to curate your own content shelf on Nintendo eShop. Also, wow. If you're in Seattle, Mine would be full of Smash DLC Seattle, and Mario Kart DLC. In Seattle on September 1st. Or come to the sixth floor of the Convention Center any day of PAX to try 13 new and unreleased Nindy titles, like Runbo Pocket for Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, see, this is the one I was talking about. Runbo. Free swag, so I hope to see you there. Free swag. I hope to see you there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the man! Ago, Woo! Like my god. Launched in Japan, introducing the world to the hero Link, the Princess Zelda, and the villain Ganon. Zelda news? The game also introduced players to its items, enemies, dungeons, and the intricate puzzles that left you feeling... God, I love a lot of these games that are being shown right now. Players Skyward Sword is amazing. Ocarina of Time is so great. All its glory later this year. Even if they don't own a current Nintendo console. When what is this? Oh yeah. System, See, I, I kind of forgot about this, but I have been seeing I have been seeing it every now and then. This holiday will also be releasing a special series of classic Zelda amiibo figures. Oh my god. That Ocarina of Time Link. Special 2-pack featuring both Link 
and Zelda. Those Wind Waker ones are really cool too. These amiibo will work as standard. Oh, but I need that Ocarina of Time link. And they will also have special That's the same day as Mario Maker 3DS. Breath of the Wild when it releases next year. Wow. Our partners at Dark Horse Comics plan to release three Zelda books as part of the 30th anniversary. I think I heard about this as a rumor. Most of these will be The Legend of Zelda art and artifacts. I need to get all this stuff that they're talking about right now. I love the Zelda series so much. In fact, you can pre-order the book now on Amazon.com. And if you're really in the mood to immerse yourself in all things Zelda, check for performances of The Legend of Zelda, Symphony of the Goddesses. Okay, if you haven't seen this show, go see it. I saw this in 2012, I believe, or 2011, and I might, I'm not sure, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> Hold on, I had to pause there because I thought he was going to say something about remastered Skyward Sword, which would have been amazing. But if you haven't seen Symphony of the Goddesses, I saw it on its first run around the U.S. a few years ago, and it, it is spectacular. It is really, really great. If you're any sort of fan of Zelda, you will enjoy it. Okay, so these Nintendo Selects... Make me kind of sad and kind of happy at the same time. They make me kind of happy because all of these great games are very heavily discounted. But it makes me sad because I already own all of them. So I can't really take advantage of the awesome discounts that people are being able to get. But I'm happy for that they're even doing it at all. So. See, notice how we said a couple retailers? That means they're going to be sold out everywhere. Bundle also includes the pre-installed imaginative game Super Mario 3D Land. I guess playing Mario with Mario has its benefits. I guess it does. <laughs> Now's a great time to jump in. I love Reggie. He's so cool. Next, we'll take a look at even more content on the way. Hey, cut! Great. Are we all good? <laughs> more of Bill. That was awesome. That's not what I mean. Do we have Bill? And do we have my Nintendo 3DS? Uh, not yet. Gosh. Gosh darn it, Bill. Where my donut? The fight continues in the game Hyrule Warriors so funny. Legends. A third DLC pack is coming. And here's your first look. You know, um as someone who's played Hyrule Warriors on the Wii U, I don't really see the the draw for Hyrule Warriors Legends on the 3DS. It looks worse, it performs worse, especially if you have a regular 3DS, it performs abysmally. Um, not as many enemies on screen, I don't, I think the maps are about the same size, but if you have a Wii U, I, I don't really see the draw in this, other than the additional characters, but, you know, other than that, I'm not sure. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Toon Zelda. I mean, cool. Um, I like seeing Nintendo actually um, support their titles with DLC over time. But uh, I'm not particularly interested in Hyrule Warriors Legends. will be available from the in-game extras menu as of today. Plus, a season pass for all four packs is already on sale at a discounted price. Season pass? Court is back in session. The latest oh man, I actually actually um, played my first uh, trial of Ace Attorney pretty recently. I downloaded the demo for this, and it's actually really good. I have never played a game in this series. I've always kind of seen it, and I've known about it, but I've never actually picked it up. But what I played of that demo was really, really good, and I really want to get all the Ace Attorney games so I can catch up and play them yearly or however often they release. It's really fun. I've been watching the anime as well, and the anime is pretty good. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice will launch in Nintendo eShop exclusively on Nintendo 3DS September 8th. Okay, so that's in about a week. There are a ton of RPG fans out there waiting for a certain Nintendo 3DS game. 
I'm talking about the anticipated re-release Dragon Quest, Quest Heroes? Oh, Dragon Quest 8. Which will launch <laughs> I thought, I know a lot of people were going to be hearing that first sentence and be like, Mother 3? And then it's, and it's, it's just Dragon Quest. <laughs> I'm sure Dragon Quest is great, though. I personally don't know anything about them. I believe they talked about this at uh, E3. I'm not quite sure. I was in line for Zelda whenever this, all this news was going on on the second day. I do recognize that slime though. I don't know its name or anything about it, but I have seen that slime pretty frequently over my years. <laughs> Remember that the game is available for pre-purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. If you do pre-purchase the game, you can receive a Dragon Quest 7 Nintendo 3DS menu theme for free. Cool. Dragon Quest 7 Fragments of the Forgotten Past launches exclusively on Nintendo 3DS September 16th. Okay, so that's Make like sure to check out a little bit over two weeks away. A lot of the stuff is coming very YouTube. soon. Which lets you explore and discover many of its new and iconic RPG elements. Game producer Noriyoshi Fujimoto will also be on hand at PAX, PAX West. Ah, you know, I wish I could go to PAX. I've been wanting to go to something like some that. RPGs have that a long time. And some have a way of hitting that sweet spot while keeping things fresh. Whether you side with Yokai Yo Watch, Watch 2, Spirit, yes. Or I Watch heard two about this. Souls. I heard that Yokai Watch is a big thing in Japan. Not so much in America. I believe the original Yokai Watch kind of sold okay. It didn't sell particularly great. But um, I suppose they kind of had to release the sequel just out of necessity, you know, for the people that did buy in the first time. You can now poke them. And if you're fast enough, you'll earn bonuses in battle, even dealing a little extra damage. Very nice. I Okay, this is another one where I watch the anime. Anime is pretty good. It's pretty funny. Um, I haven't picked up the game. I don't know. It just it doesn't have that. It doesn't pull me in. I don't know. Not to say that it's a bad game or anything, but it just doesn't capture my interest. Hailing from ancient Japan, the leader of the Bony Spirits faction is Arachnus, who harbors a. It is pretty interesting though that they're kind of taking the. Uh, Pokemon approach in creating two versions, basically. Weird that they didn't do that the first time around, but with these new games, it looks like they have. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Jibanyan is pretty adorable, though. In the anime, he's just hilarious. Or Sailor Nyan. Sailor Nyan? You can try the game yourself. I haven't seen that one before. That's that's funny. That's adorable. So many choices. Which means it's time to choose your side when the game launches for Nintendo 3DS on September 30th. September 30th. That's still that's still this month. There's a lot of stuff going on this month in the world of 3DS. Nintendo 3DS on October 14th. If you pre-purchase the game, you'll receive some free in-game outfits. Do characters like Olaf, Anna, and Elsa ring a bell? That's right, free Frozen outfits. <laughs> and luckily, the Your character looks pretty derpy in comparison to the rest of the in-game models. Yes, and its select retailers. If you want to learn more about those cool unlockables in the game, head to the official website. Disney Magical World 2. This is another one where it. I love Disney. Um, I love all the movies that are represented here. I just this game doesn't really capture my interest, but perhaps just because I'm just not the demographic. But um, I don't know. It just doesn't really draw me in. Love Disney. Love Nintendo, though. So. And I don't know if those are supposed to be me's or like their own original character creation model thing I don't know they don't look like me I saw quite a bit of Disney magic in there 
which reminds me, there are new Disney themes. Okay, yeah, I might get some of these. <laughs> I might get some of these. Those look pretty nice. This is Sonic the Hedgehog's 25th anniversary. And his latest game infuses the series. There's a lot of anniversaries this year. Elements. There's Pokemon, Fire, Metroid, Zelda, Just look at him go. and Sonic. Wow. There are modes for both single player and two player competitions. I might be wrong though. I don't know. Between characters, which should give speedrunners some much needed adrenaline. While the game harnesses the tone of the popular animated series Sonic Boom, I know this uh I know this particular line of video games, the Sonic Boom series, does leave a somewhat undesirable taste in people's mouths, but we'll see how this one this one does. I don't know if Sonic Boom was the right way to um, market this one. <laughs> so, who knows? Is Megami Tensei? Shin Megami Tensei yes. 4 is now available for pre -order. Yes. I need to pick up that crossover with Fire Emblem. Show you another side into the story and take you into the events that follow. But if you didn't play the original, fear not. Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse can be enjoyed as a completely standalone experience. Thank you, though. They, thank you for including that because I know a lot of people would be like, you know what? I know there are so many Shin Megami Tensei games already, and I don't know if this one's going to be for me. But uh, thank you for clarifying that. You can experience it just by itself. I don't know how we're going to announce those 2017 games. 2017 games? NX? Come on! I know you said no NX, but I'm still holding out. I am still holding out for them to talk about it. What on earth? It is him. <laughs> Bill. Bill, we love you. You are just the best. Spoke to me. Bill, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What did those donuts do to you? Warning. The next 18 seconds will be utterly adorable. Oh my god, he was right. I love Yoshi's Woolly World. Is it coming to 3DS? Oh my god! Looking at the Nintendo 3DS version of Wow. I love this. I love that they're bringing this to the to the 3DS. You know, I wonder. I wonder if this is somewhat of a of like a hint or like a foresight to what's to come with the NX because it's mobile slash console hybrid, and them bringing the 3DS or the Wii U games to 3DS is somewhat uh, representative of that. I don't know. To indicate where you should look for secrets and this is a, a really fun game, though. It's so adorable, and the platforming is actually pretty challenging at points, so it's definitely worth it. Oh my gosh. I love Yoshi. I love this whole wooly thing that they've got going on with the latest game. And Poochie is just great. Yes! Yes! Poochie's getting his own Amiibo, boys! Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I've already got four Amiibo throughout the course of this announcement slash direct that I want. So, they're already digging in my wallet. Man. Okay, so this was announced while I was in line for Zelda, so I don't know much about it, but this is Ever Oasis, so... Um, yeah, that's about all I know about it. I know it's an RPG, a JRPG, but that's it. As well as the series Square Enix, Mr. Ishii will bring decades of experience to Ever Oasis. And the character design is done by famed illustrator I like that, uh... Shizuma. I like this art. It looks nice. Ever Oasis takes place in a sprawling desert and the oasis at its heart. As a chosen seedling, you'll travel between this desert and oasis, collecting hmm. duodems to make your oasis bloom. Travelers with different wants, needs, <laughs> what the heck are those things I'm waddling around? And folks living there will sell products made from the materials you've gathered in the desert. Believe that all, is adorable! In contrast to your lively oasis, 
with its bustling shops all in a row, the desert is a harsh world where inhabitants live it's under the threat of a dark force known as chaos. With your desert-dwelling friends in mind, you must set off on an adventure across this cruel terrain and locate the dungeons scattered throughout. Allies will join your cause, each one strengthening your team. I, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about this, though. Um, certain weapons are effective against certain enemies. It kind of looks like a Final Fantasy, in a way. It might make sense, though, because they're bringing some people over from Square Enix and other games in that realm, so... So it's important to team up with the right ally for the job and switch between characters to utilize their skills in battle or when solving puzzles. Items claimed in the desert can be used as materials to craft other items that can be obtained at shops or given to certain travelers in search of them. Nice. By doing so, you'll help travelers accomplish their goals and fulfill their wishes. In fact, they may cozy up to the idea of moving in and living at your oasis as an ally. As your oasis blossoms, it will grow, thanks to the power of the water spirit, Izuna. Thanks, Izuna. May your journey lead you to Ever Oasis. Did they ever get a release date for this? In no. Okay, so it's just sometime next year. <laughs> Mario Sports Superstar. Mario Sports. This compilation includes five sports. What? Soccer. Baseball. Oh, I hope. Tennis. I hope this does better than Mario Power or Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. And horse you know, I miss Mario Golf. I wonder when. I don't remember when the last Mario when Golf game was. Soccer, we're talking the full-on eleven versus eleven rules. These are full nice. sports, and there's more to them than you may expect. Mario Sluggers. <laughs> There's not only a single player tournament mode for online sports, there's also local and online. Yes, nice. Okay. So this might be something I want to bit I want to look into. Or against the best I am a fan of online g gaming, um, especially when it comes to competitive Mario stuff. Uh, I think I've said that sometime uh, somewhere on the channel, but I love competitive games, so. Let's dig into our final game of the day. Final game of the day. What is this? Pikmin? Pikmin? What? What is this? Why is it on 3DS? What? Mysterious creatures known as Pikmin are joining the fearless space explorer Olimar What? Side scrolling adventure game on Nintendo 3DS. This can't be Pikmin 4. Pikmin no way. Get to work right away. Okay. Battling creatures. This can't be Pikmin 4. No way. Or carrying treasure. I see the I see the ah. Uh, I see that the menu on the bottom you can have fire The uh whistle and the you can select certain Pikmin or whatever. And yellow Pikmin certain colors. This can't be Pikmin 4. series of tasks you could only describe as an adventure. This Pikmin game is being designed with action in mind. This cannot be Pikmin 4. I keep saying that, but this no way. This looks fun, but this can't be Pikmin 4. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so it's just Pikmin for now. So, not Pikmin 4. <laughs> what's, he, what's he gonna do? Oh, wow. <laughs> what the heck? That was the... That was the...